Assalamu alaikum. I hope you, my voice is clear. Thank you very much for attending. So today I will talk about uh, the digital health ecosystem in Saudi Arabia. I hope you'll enjoy uh, the talk. So uh, digital health ecosystem, when we, um, before when we use the term of digital health, long time ago, it's a buzzword. Nobody understands exactly what it means. And as time passed, a lot of countries, uh, cities, whatever, has implemented digital health uh, systems, and it's maybe especially during the pandemic. And we saw the value and the empowerment of the people, healthcare provider, uh, and con to, to deliver health and wellness uh, during uh, the pandemic and before. And we saw uh, the integration between the systems, how it's impacting uh, patients and healthcare providers. So Saudi Arabia is part of that revolution uh, of providing healthcare services due, uh, through the digital platforms. And the journey started a long time ago. Uh, if we saw in the, in the presentation, maybe early of 2000, it was the first EMR implementation being done. Uh, it was in a tertiary care hospital. It's a big sp scale uh, EMR in King Faisal. And after that, a lot of hospital has followed and implementing EMR within the hospitals. And in 2012, uh, the first surveilling system pretending public health uh, on the nationwide was implemented named Hassan. In 2016, in Saudi Arabia, the, the 2030 vision has started, and we saw a lot of uh, programs for the transformation in Saudi, and health for, uh, healthcare was for sure part of that. And healthcare transformation, the objective of healthcare transformation was uh, uh, three things. The first objective was ac improving access to care, also improving efficiency and quality, and the third one, the prevention, so promote prevention, health prevention. Uh, and also, uh, I don't know if the clicker is working, so also th during this journey, a lot of national systems has been implemented uh, through, through this journey. And if we can see on the, on the slide, there is the three objective where a lot of national system being implemented during these years. So I will not go all, of, all over all of them, but if we can see, so for example, in terms of access to care, we can see Sahati, we can see Mawad, we can see Wasfati, which is the e-prescription for nationwide, and also virtual clinics, virtual medical center, which is one of the first virtual medical center in the world. And the quality, we can see teleradiology, Rust, which is tracking trace of the medication, and also medical reports and INIT, which is the lab system. On the prevention, Hassan for sure was implemented long time ago, and recently we implemented NVR, which is the vaccination uh, system, and also disease registries. This is these systems were national wide systems being used by private public uh, health entities in Saudi Arabia. However, th they were in silos. They, they don't talk to each other, these systems, preventing them from getting the full advantage of these systems. This leads us to a consolidation phase. So Saudi Arabia start to work on consolidating these surfaces. So if we can see in the middle, the nafis, which is the bundle of insurance services and unifying our clinical services, which is the cl unified clinical record in Saudi Arabia. Around it, the orbit of three main gates. The first gate, which is Sahati app. I don't know, maybe a lot of you have used Sahati. So Sahati consolidates all of the services for patients in this app, and we reached about 17 services in Sahati. On top, Saha, which is the establishment gate. So Saha, for any organization in Saudi Arabia, either public or private, they can find all of their, their services in one place. And we have 25 services and growing. Anat, 
is the practitioner gate, where all of their services around the healthcare sector being implemented and migrated in an ad. This system is a beauty system, so it will allow to for a reach, governance, and authentication. So this is great. What is the impact of this consolidated system? We can see in terms of access to care, great numbers. And at, we do have about 400,000 plus practitioners using the system for these eight services, which is represent 85 to 90% of the practitioners in Saudi Arabia. Sahati, we do have 25 million plus users with these 17 services. Also for Saha, we have all of the private sector are registered in Saha as organizations. And for the government sector, uh, we do have 90%. We do have more than 80 million transactions and 25 uh, services. And team-based care, which is Saudi Arabia trying to have uh, a family physician for each individual. We have 1 million uh, patients or individual are registered with, uh, a, uh, let's say, a team care-based. On the virtual clinics, we do have one of the largest network, telehealth network in the world where about 1,500 1, organizations are registered and using this, uh, this virtual system. Also for the quality and effectiveness, we do have Rust, for example, 1.2 billion transactions and 3,000 facilities. Medical reports, we do have plenty of them, also pre-marriage, sick leaves, and whatever. So these are great numbers. Also, Hassan, we do have 16 million investigations and about 13 million uh, individuals. And in VR, we do have 73 million plus vaccination are registered. So before we go to the future, Let's go back 3,000 years ago to ponder this statement by Hippocrates. He said, it's more important to know what sort of person has a disease than what sort of disease a person has. And actually, no time better for us to fulfill this statement than today. So the healthcare in the past, it was categorized based on patient patient gender, ethnicity, or uh, age group, and then we treat them in a certain clinical pathways as a group. However, we know more about the patient now. Do you know that 90% of the world's data has been generated only in the last two years? And digital health, or health in, in general, was part of that. So. It's lead us to the personalized health record, personalized medicine, where we know more about patients, we know more about disease, we know more about treatments. So digital health has enabled us to know more about all of the three elements of uh, the healthcare in the world. And I think, in the level of genetics also, there is a lot of data. So I think we saw a lot of futuristic technologies in LEAP. And as augmented reality, as uh, virtual reality, as digital twins, I just want you to imagine how these will impact the healthcare system. And in the future, you will find the patient portal, Sahati, in near future, where Marwan's Sahati app is different than any other's uh, uh, Sahati interface because it's be being personalized based on this huge data, based on knowing more about every individual. Thank you very much, and hope you will be in a better health for a long time. Thank you.